Hi, this is CK with today's Advice for Life. I'm continuing in my public speaking series. And today I want to talk about just being yourself. Um, I told you in uh, several videos ago, I listed five skills that were very important to your career success. And I named public speaking as one of them. And this is why I've been focusing on this one particular uh, aspect of, of uh, your career. Now, I said in that video, and if you haven't watched it, please go back and watch that. It's um, five skills you must have in your career or something like that. But um, I forgot exactly what I titled it. But uh, that video is so important. That, that content is so important because a lot of people think, well, I don't do a lot of public speaking. I don't have to do public speaking. That's not my main thing. But I said in that video, and I'll say it again, it doesn't matter if that's your main thing or not. Even if you're not expected to or you don't do a lot of it, if you get very good at it, that might take you to a different level in your career, especially if you work in a, in a field where you're not really expected to be a good communicator. If you actually become a good communicator, wow, that could really advance your career. So I highly recommend working on your public speaking skills, no matter what field you're in, no matter what field you're in. OK, and literally I, I, I could I could hear some of your Well, yeah, but I don't know about my about what I do, about what whatever field you're in. This will help you. All right. OK, so a lot of people when they do public speaking, I don't know about a lot of people, but some people when they do public speaking, they, they, they view these people on YouTube or they've seen somebody do it or they, or they watch somebody on the Internet or TV or something. And they're like, man, that, that speaker, they speak well, they do it this way. They do jokes, they do that. And they try to copy those people. They try to go up in front of people and try to be that other person. And I don't recommend doing that. OK, you got to be yourself. If you're going to do anything for any period, any prolonged period of time, if you try to fake, if you try to, I'm not even saying fake it, like deceiving people, but I'm just saying if you try to be somebody else, you will be found out. If you try to be someone you are not, then that's going to at some point in the very near future, that's going to, you know, that, that that's going to be disclosed. They're going to people are going to know you're going to end up being yourself anyway. So just be yourself. Be comfortable being yourself. Just be comfortable who you are. The background that you have, where you came from, your demographic, your ethnicity, your religion, your what, whatever it is, um, your mannerisms, whatever it is, use all those things to make the customized, unique you that you are and just use that, okay? Um, this is not going to go well in English, okay? I just, okay, so I'm trying to, but this, this would actually be the perfect example, I, I think. When I was little, see, when I, growing up, I, I grew up in a Korean home. My, my parents were both Korean. They came from Korea. My dad came from Korea in 1969, okay? So, uh, but my parents aren't fluent. And so when I, when I was growing up in my home, we just spoke Korean all the time. To this day, when I talk to my parents, I've never spoken to them in English. Now, I was born here. I grew up here. I'm fluent in English, but my, my parents were not. So when I was growing up, I spoke Korean at home. Now, um, but my parents are from um, a part of Korea that speaks a certain dialect, okay? And, um, and so both my parents are from Daegu uh, in Korea, in South Korea. They speak a certain dialect, and this is not the... It, it kind of be like... Um, if you watch TV, if you watch national news, you know how they talk. They have a certain... They, they, there's a certain way that reporters and journalists talk. And then you got some person from Tennessee or some person from Alabama or some person from, uh, you know, so, some other part of the country where they have a certain dialect, a certain accent. And they and they come on TV and they have an interview and you can, wow, that person sounds very different. OK, and and I was kind of like that. It's not the I guess the the, 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 the national uh, approved, if you will, dialect. It was a little bit different dialect. And I spoke that. So when I was growing up, I spoke that dialect. And so did my sister. That, that's just what we grew up with, okay? But when my, when my sister went out, she was kind of embarrassed to kind of speak this. Me, I just knew, well, what else am I going to speak? That's what I speak. That's who I am. So I just spoke it. And, and some people thought it was kind of funny. It was kind of amusing. But I didn't think it was a big deal. I didn't care. I just did it. I thought it was kind of cool. And when people laughed, I just kind of laughed along. I thought it was kind of funny and whatever, you know. And um, uh, so, you know, I, I just, that was just, just, was who I am. I just accepted that. And, and I just did that. 
And so when I talk to Korean people, when I speak Korean, because I'm fluent in Korean as well, when I do that, I just speak in that dialect. I don't try to change it. I don't try to change my dialect because I can't really do that well anyway. So I just be myself and I just speak it. And people think that's very interesting. People think that's very unique. Man, this kid, this guy who was born in America, he speaks, speaks his dialect like he just came from the countryside, you know, from Korea or something. And I think a lot of people find that amusing. And I don't care that that's you know that's just who i am and so that's one of the unique attributes of me that makes me who i am part of who i am and so i just use it i don't try to hide it i don't try to do it and that's what i'm saying for you whatever your thing is okay may, maybe you're tall maybe you're short maybe you're a little chubby maybe you're a little bit thin it doesn't matter that is you use that all right and so use whatever you have when you go up in front of people when you speak if you speak fast that's just naturally who you are. If you speak really slow, use that. But you can use, even whether you speak slow or fast, you can still make it entertaining. You can still make it um, appealing to the listeners. So you got to just find your way and just be yourself. Please don't try to be like somebody else. Don't try to copy someone else and, and try to fake it and try to be someone else in your mind and then go live that or you know go, go do your public speaking thing like that. You know, when you when you speak in front of people, just be yourself. Find your own voice, and it, because that, and if you find your own voice and you tr continue improving upon that, you'll get better and better. If you think, well, I copy, I tried copying that person this time, that didn't really work. So I'm going to try uh, and watch some more videos of more speaking. I'm going to try to copy that person. I'm going to try to be more like that. But next time when I speak in public, I'm going to try to do it like that. That would be a huge mistake. Okay. You got to be you. Just be yourself and then continue to improve on yourself, on the things that you do in, in your own way. And that is the best way to do it. Okay. I'm telling you, in, in all that you do, you have to know that you being unique, that is something special. You being who you are, that is your asset. You being who you are, that is the thing that makes you special. And so don't forego that and try to be like somebody else. Somebody else is gifts and skills and, and talents that's theirs you got to work on yours and you got to take what you have and be the best you can be the best version of yourself not a different version of that person or that person just the best version of yourself okay that is god who god made you to be and so just be that person and be comfortable and when you go out and you know in front of people when you're speaking just be yourself that's going to be the best Wait, now, if you don't do very well, then you got to dissect that. Now, why didn't I do very well? What aspect didn't work? And did I say it in the wrong sequence? Did I use the wrong tone? Was I, you know, was my, did I not use enough examples, enough story? Like, what was the thing? And then you got to figure out how you can become better, not how can I go copy someone else. Now, you can certainly get tips from other people, right? You can see how they deliver it and, and when they say certain things and you can look at, um, you know, how long they talk and you can look at what kind of things they talked about, how many things they talked about and how they embedded their stories in their presentations. You can learn from all that, certainly, but you are not that person. You are just you and I'm just me. So just be yourself. And if you continue to just improve on being a better version of you and you accept the you, then then that that is that is, you know, the road to contentment and happiness and improvement. So that's what I I uh, want to tell you today, that is my advice for today. Now, please be sure to go to my channel, click on playlist, and you're going to see five categories. Uh, college prep, career success, uh, parenting, money, and mindset for success. And you can click on one of those playlists. There are many videos in each playlist. And you can click on those videos, watch them, and you can get my advice on that topic. Thanks for watching this video. And until my next one, I hope you stay well.